All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have something, I guess, somewhat of an unboxing video today. Um, I got a package from Leopold, or some of y'all have corrected me, that's called Leopold. Um, but I got a package from Leopold today. Um, and what it is, is my uh, Ruger guide rifle that I got a few months ago. Two months ago, something like that. I got a Leopold uh, Freedom 4 to 12 by 40, 30 millimeter tube, and it was CDS compatible. I got online after receiving the scope, and I did the form for my free uh, CDS turret. Um, so, this is my first time seeing it. I just took it out of the package, so let's see what's inside this thing. Obviously, my uh, Elevation turret is inside. We'll go over that in a second. You get your Allen wrench to install it, and then you literally just get your um, instructions on how to install it for whatever um, scope you have. Um, the VX5s and the VX6s are a little bit different than the VX Freedoms and, you know, that kind of thing. So. For anybody that does not know, the CDS is Leopold's custom dial system. And they're pretty neat. What they do is they take um, a whole list of things um, and they custom make the dial so it fits your rifle. That's pretty neat. Now, I've never owned one of these before, so I'm kind of skeptical, but we will see just how well they work. Um, so to get into a little bit of the form, and I know it's not going to focus because it's trying to focus on my hand, but when you go to fill out your form, uh, it's going to ask for a few different things. Like it's going to ask for the caliber, the grain of the bullet, the weight of the bullet, uh, the style of bullet, like mine is PSPs. Remington Corlox PSP. Um, it is going to ask for your average feet per muzzle velocity. Um, it's going to ask for your average elevation of where you sighted this rifle in. Like I sighted it in here at the house, so I'm at 862 feet above sea level, um, which was actually pretty interesting to figure out because um, on top of the mountain it's at 1,200 feet, but I'm below that, so. I actually had to figure out how far above sea level I was here at the house. Um, it also asks, um, if you can see it down here, it asks you for the average temperature of when you sighted in this rifle. Um, and then it tells you yardage. Um, I sighted that this thing is in yards and that is quarter MOA. Um, so what these actually are is with the help of a um, rangefinder, these things can be pretty damn deadly, um, supposedly. What they are is if you, like my gun, is sighted in at 100 yards. So they started mine at 100 yards. If I have a rangefinder and I see a target out at 200 yards, I will literally just move my dial over the two. Now my gun is dead zero at 200. Same with 250, 300, and all these clicks in between are, i um, guessing, uh, 5, 10, let's see, 60, 70, 80, 90. They go in fives. They go, each one of these hashes goes in fives. So mine goes 350, 400, 450, and then you start over five, six, 650, seven, okay. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of neat. Um, I've never owned any of their CDS systems before. Um, I know that my VX5 has a CDS system, but it came on the scope. I've never had, I've never ordered one of their free ones. So, it is a little bit neat. Um, when it gets a little bit warmer, we'll take this down and we'll actually see how close this is. Um, cause my gun is sighted in right at a hundred yards exact. So 
theoretically, I can set a target up at 300 yards, which is about as far as it is down in the meta. I have places I can shoot further than that, but theoretically, I should be able to set up the barn shoot all the way across and hit a target at 300 yards by just moving this style. Um, it's pretty neat, takes all the guesswork out of it, takes the the work out of sitting there with the calculator and a pen and figuring it all out. It definitely simplifies it for the average Joe. Um, but guys, this is just a quick little unboxing look of the CDS um, turrets from Leopold. Um, like I said, we will um, test it out when we get when it gets a little bit warmer. Um, and that is that. Guys, Christmas is next week. I hope that all of you all that are traveling stay safe. Anybody who is getting to spend time with your family, please remember to cherish every moment that you get. Not all of us get to spend the holidays with our family. Some of us are either at work or um, other people are overseas protecting uh, your freedoms so you can spend time with your family on, on Christmas. Um, so, Guys, I love you to death. Like always, like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.